All right. In this video, I want to talk about the three special cases that you might encounter that don't quite work with the technique that I, I have talked to you about. And you're going to have to deal with these special cases separately regardless of what technique that you choose to use. So what I want you to remember here is that you need to get two points. That's your whole goal. Okay? If you can get two points, you can graph the line. Now, the first special case that we want to deal with isn't really that bad. We have something like y equals 2 thirds x. And the problem here is there's no b term. There's no constant over here. So we're going to fix that. And we're going to fix that by adding a plus 0 onto the end of our line. Okay. So I'm going to put a plus 0 over here. Okay. Now that I see that plus 0 there, I can tell that my y-intercept is going to be at the point 0, 0. And then I look at my slope, and my bottom number is 3. So I want to add that to my x-coordinate. My top number is 2. I want to add that to my y-coordinate. And that's going to give me my second point. Which is 3, comma 2. And then we graph it. So because our y-intercept is at 0, 0, we're going to be starting at the origin, which is the point 0, 0. And then we're going to go over 3 and up 2. And that's going to be the graph of our line. Now, the next two special cases require a little bit more thought, but they're not bad. All right? And a lot of students try to remember that this one's horizontal and this one's vertical. And I say, don't worry about that. Okay? Come up with two points. If you follow what I'm doing here and just come up with two points, you won't have to worry about getting confused between your ver vertical and horizontal, which I've seen happen a lot of times. So, what we want to do here, we're going to look at this one first. And in this case, the problem here is we just have y. We have y equals 3, which means there is no x. And really, our solution here is to realize x is not really important here. In fact, it doesn't really matter what x is. What this is saying to us is that since we have y equals 3, the y must be 3. We have to have 3 for y at all times. It's kind of like you're going out and you're shopping for a car. And all you really care about is that it has air conditioning. You don't care how it looks. You don't care where it was made. As long as it has air conditioning, you're happy. Okay? And that's what this equation is like. As long as, as long as our y value is 3, we're happy. So what we're going to do for our points is we're going to come up with two points where our y value is 3. So our first point is going to be the point 0, 3. Now for our second point, our y value has to be 3, but that x can be whatever you want there. So you use whatever number makes you happy. I like 7, because 7 makes me happy, so I'm going to use 7 here. And those are my two points. And now I go to graph my line. So my first point was 0, 3, which will be right here. My second point would be 7, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, over here. And that, when I draw the line connecting through those two points, I'm going to see that it's going to be a horizontal line. Now eventually you'll get to the point where you realize when you have something like y equals 3, it's always going to be a horizontal line. But if you're not sure, or you know, if you're not confident of yourself, do this. Okay? Just remember when it says y equals 3, that means that y has to be 3. 
As long as our y value is 3, we'll be happy. And when we see that on our graph, if we look at any other point on the graph, all of our points on the graph have our y value of 3. So in a lot of ways, this is exactly the same, except we have x equals negative 2. So here, our problem is that we have no y. And our solution to this is that when we see x equals negative 2, that means x must always be negative 2. Okay, And what y is is not important. So when I think about my points for this graph, I need to have a point have points where my x value is negative 2. So I'm going to start off with negative 2 and 0, and then I need another point where x is negative 2. So remember here, x always has to be negative 2. So just pick a number that, you know, makes you smile. Um, I like 3 in this case. It makes me smile a little bit. And then we're going to graph it. So our first point was at negative 2, 0. And remember, your x always comes first in your coordinate pair, so that's going to be negative 2, 0. And our second point is negative 2, 3, which would be right there. And there's your line. Right? So these are the basic techniques that you need to graph lines. Now, a common concept that's going to be talked about usually with these guys is x and y intercepts. And we'll talk about those in our next video.